Well, good morning once again from Wyoming. The next three videos I'm going to tie together as hollowing videos. I'm going to do a little bit of milling with the chainsaw in this video. And then the following two videos after that are going to be highlighting the stabilizer tool put out by Trent Bosch. Now on a sadder note, the wood churning world heard the news that Alan Batty passed and our hearts go out to Stuart and his family and our best wishes. For those of us lucky enough to have seen Alan demonstrate in the States, it was just a pleasure and um, some of my fondest memories at wood turning symposiums were watching Alan turn and tell his stories. So Stuart, our best goes out to you. Okay, now I'm gonna give you a play-by-play -play of me cutting up this burl with a chainsaw. Here I am marking off the areas that I'm gonna cut and mill into two hollow forms. So we'll mark those off with a piece of chalk and that's what I'm aiming for and that's a really good idea. This burl is relatively untouched. I haven't done much to it so I have to do a little bit of planning so when I make this cut I'm not ruining the adjacent wood and you'll see this as we go along here. I'm uh, kind of muscling that into position to do a little cutting with my chainsaw. Now in this next clip, I'm going to start my chainsaw up and I've got the bar locked. And you'll see that as we go along here. I do start that up. I like to start it up in that position. Here I am unlocking the lever that locks the chain and that's about as safe as I can get. So here I am starting that initial cut and on the very left side of that is a burl that I'm really trying not to destroy. And I'll show you a close-up right there of that burl. And I'm just cutting a little bit up to it. So I'm going to try to find a different position with my chainsaw to cut. And I'm a little bit unsuccessful here because this cut is not the safest one. So I'm going to find a different position. And eventually I'm going to readjust that log and cut off that burl. And that's going to be a really nice 18 inch bowl and I'll be able to core out a couple other bowls. So here I'm in position to just whack off that burl and get it out of the way. And then I can make my initial cuts that I originally planned on. So that's a pretty good shot and I've got a clear uh, shot at cutting that burl off. I've just got to go down through that. And I've got a pretty good chain on that. It's uh, fairly sharp, but that's a lot of wood to take off. I'm using a steel chainsaw with a 20 inch bar and I wish I had a longer bar sometimes but uh, it's okay it'll work and I'll probably cut through some of this because it takes me quite a while to get through that and I'm going to reposition my burl right now and I'm going to do just a little bit more cutting in this position and go down a little bit farther So here I'm just finishing up this cut as far down as I can go and I'm going to reposition myself and cut that burl off the rest of the way. So here I am back to the front of the burl and I'm going to just uh, take my chainsaw and finish that cut I started a few minutes ago. And this is really what you have to do when you're approaching a large burl like this. And the nice thing about this piece and the one in the foreground is that the entire thing is a burl, just about. So you have to be careful when you cut one off not to destroy wood that's just right next to it or adjacent to it. You can always tell by the chips if you've got a good sharp chain on your chainsaw. And I'm just about down to the bottom end of that burl just a little bit more and we'll have that off and there you see me unlocking that bar once again because I need to go back to the burl and make a little bit more of a cut 
and that'll fall off. And there we go. That's how it works and there's a beautiful piece of wood right there. And I've already turned that wood into four bowls. The largest bowl turned out to be about 18 inches down to five or six. So those are in a bag with shavings drying and it'll take a while. Now this picture is of a really large burl, the largest burl I've got. And I've got the top of that sealed with a sealer, but I put some newspaper on top of that just to help seal that. Not very pretty, but it's an effective technique and you can use newspaper or cardboard. So here we are back to the initial milling. And these are the pieces that I was going for when I started this video. And you see there on the left side of that burl, it's just a straight line. That's where I cut that other burl off. And now I have total access to the, to the wood. And I can go all the way down with my chainsaw. And it's unobstructed. I'm not going to ruin any wood next to it. And I need to reposition this big old piece of wood. And i got to be careful because I'm getting old. And there it is. You can still see the chalk marks on the front of that burl. And I'll take my chainsaw and just cut off what's going to become two fairly large hollow forms. And you'll see those in the upcoming videos when I do a little bit of work with stabilizer tool. And just to let you know what's coming up, the first video on the stabilizer will be just taking a look at it, how it works, and then the next video that will follow up will be uh, the operation. I've got a piece of wood and I'm going to hollow the whole thing out with that stabilizer tool and it's really pretty cool. I'll try to put these videos up all at once. There are my two finished pieces ready to go into the shop on the bandsaw and stay tuned. The stabilizer is a really cool tool. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you next time.